Okay, let's look at the next function. So the next function is clone. The previous one was clamp and now we are at clone. So let's look at this. The type signature of clone is a bit funny. I guess they're trying to say that if you have an object that is constructed in any way, you can produce something which presumably then has the same structure. And let's, uh, let's just read the text here, so, so or, or the documentation. The documentation of clone is that it creates a deep copy of the value which may contain nested uh, arrays and objects, numbers, strings, booleans, and dates. Functions, however, are assigned by reference rather than copied and it dispatches to a clone method if present. So I guess what they're saying is that if you pass something to r.clone, so here we pass objects or the variable objects to r.clone, and if we pass something which has a clone function that implements a clone function, its own clone function, then it dispatches to that rather than trying to do something strange. So, so in some sense, I, can, I guess you can pass more than the sort of supported types, the supported basic types, if you construct your own type that has that implements the, the, the clone function or the clone method. And, and what's this jazz about functions are assigned by reference rather than copied? So the point, I mean, I mean, let's step back. What's the point of clone? The point of clone is to clone an object. So data structures in JavaScript are not immutable by default. Or I mean, they're not immutable simply. You have to, if you want something that behaves in an immutable fashion, you have to construct that on your own and, and then keep track of not mutating it or, or ma make sure not to mutate it. So, so there are probably a number of different reasons for why you would want to, to copy uh, an object but for one for example let's say you have you have an old object and you want to change something in it but but you want to be able to use the old object as well so let's say you you're using like you're passing in one object you have a function that takes an object and does some kind of transformation to it and sends it back but you don't want to do that in a mutable fashion you don't actually want to change that object you just want to return a new object that has the new structure so it's similar to the old one but has the new change and if you have that scenario it would for example make sense to use clone you might also look into lenses or use recursion to try to change it but one way is to to clone the object and then do the change in the new clone in the clone of the object so what they are saying here with functions are assigned by reference rather than copied is just that they're pointing out that functions however are not copied so so these other things are by reference usually so so so, so actually i mean l l let's start to look at this so if we actually let's let's just jump into node and let's say uh, r equals require ramda and let's make sure that we have r.clone yes we have that but uh, if we just look at normal javascript let's say that we have one object o1 let's say and and it contains foo the key foo pointing to the string bar okay so o1 exists now and then let's say that o2 so const o2 equals o1 oh sorry sorry <laughs> o2 equals o1 Okay, I because now I declared it. Sorry, I messed up. Okay, so so apologies. Let's go for O3. So O2 is now undefined, and that's completely pointless. I guess it's undefined. Let's check it out. O2 is not defined. Yeah. Okay. So so never mind. So so let's do const O3 is equal to O1, and just forget about O2. That was my mistake. So I now said that O O3 is is the same thing as O1, and because it's by reference, that means O3 equals O1, yes, but also it means that O3 strictly equals O1. It's just, it's like literally the same thing. It points to the same location in memory because it's 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 by reference. So so O3 is by reference pointing to to this uh, the structure, and O1 is the same is referring to the same structure. But if we would do if we would say uh, const let's say O4 is equal to R dot clone, and now we clone O1. Okay, let's look at O4. O4 looks like what we expected. O1 looks like what we expected. And O1, let's check this out. O4, is is that equal to O4? Yeah, so it's not. So I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it was unnecessary of me to, to emphasize the sort of uh, single equals and... and tr Sorry, now I accidentally pasted in some stuff that I was experimenting with before. But it was unnecessary of me to emphasize before that it's it's equal in the equals equal sense, but also in the strict equal sense. Actually, now that we have this clone, it's not equal even in the simple equal sense. I mean, of course, it's not equal in the strict equal sense. Yeah, but but it's also not equals in in the 
or it's not it's also not equal in in the like less stringent sense because equals on, on a complex structure such as a object works by reference but yeah so but but so what they're saying is that if you if you have a function in that object right so let's say that um, O1 contains a function, let's say uh, speak is a function. Let me just express it this way. Speak is a function that takes some string and uh, returns the string plus, let's say, an exclamation point. Doesn't make any sense, but you know, so O1.speak hello. And then we'll, it will add this exclamation point, right? So, so that's all fine and dandy. And then we can say const o5 equals r dot clone o1. And let's see, o5. O5 is now an object where foo points to bar uh, and speak points to this function. And the question is, does o is is the speak function of o1 equal to the speak function of o5? And it is, right, because it's copied by reference. Now, of course, I guess uh, we could do the same thing for foo here, right? Foo, yeah, so because foo is a, a string, so it's it's a simple type because foo is not an object. So so actually, let's, let's add some more complexity. Let's say that O1 has another property, which is, uh, let's say, name, and let, let, let's make it so that name contains first, which is, let's say, John, and then last, which is Doe. Okay, so then if we look at O1, you can see it, it now has the key foo pointing to bar, the key speak pointing to a function, and the key name pointing to this complex object where the key first points to John and the key last points to Do. So if we now say, what are we at, O6 or something like that? So const O6 is equal to object dot, so, so clearly, I mean, <laughs> since I was doing it this way, I shouldn't have used consts, I should have just said let. O1 and let O2 and then just <laughs> just mutate the objects. This was unnecessarily silly. Anyways, um, so const O6 equals R dot clone O1. Okay, so uh, O1 still the same. O6 still the same. Does O1 equal O6? No. Does O1 dot speak or let's say foo equal O6 dot foo? Yes. But does O1 name equal O6 dot name? No, right? Because it's a deep copy or it's a deep clone. But, but of course, O1 dot name dot first does equal O6 dot name dot first. Oh, sorry, not 06, O6, O6, uh, O6. That's true, however, because then we're back to the we're back to the simple types. So that's clone essentially. So it recursively copies an object. And actually, I mean, I'm a bit confused now because it says creates a deep copy of the value uh, which may contain. So I'm I'm confused because here they're actually passing an array, right? So is it actually possible to say r dot clone uh, an array of 10, 20, 30, let's say? Yeah, that's actually possible. So then we're cloning the array. So now let's actually use use let. So so if I have a one, uh, which is an array of one two three, let's say, and I say let a two be r dot clone a one. Let's look at a two is the same as a one, right? But a two probably does not equal a one. Yeah. So because it's an actual it's an actual copy, it's no longer pointing to the same place in memory. Whereas, of course, if I would have said that a2 is equal to a1, the normal way, right? a2 looks the same, a1 looks the same, but now a1 is actually equal to a2 because we've said it, it points to the same reference. So yeah, and then we can make our own clone functions. If, if, so if we look at if we think about O1, for example, so O1 was something that ha has functions, or, or that also has a function, the speak function. And if we also implement it, if we said O1.clone and supplied an implementation in terms of a function, then it seems clone here from Ramda would dispatch to that clone function in order to, to construct the clone. All right, let's move on to the next one.